right now I'm next to my another beautiful princesses, Aww. Uh, Michelle. And actually, Michelle, she works for me, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's been four years. Four years. Yeah, four years. I thought it was well. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, Michelle, about two weeks later, asked me if uh, she wanted to do a video. I said no. <laughs> True story. And uh, I guess why explain what's going on and your, well, your journey? Okay. Well, I was um, uh, I. Uh, I was 425 pounds in, uh, I don't know, I guess four and a half years ago, something like that. And um, I went to a raw retreat. I went to Optimum Health Institute and ended up getting a, um, a volunteer position there working in the kitchen. And I spent eight months in total and lost like 140 pounds there. And then I came home and worked for Arnold. Right. And I continued on my journey and I lost 175 total. And I stayed raw for three and a half years. And you stayed pretty much that weight. Yes. Well, about. I was right. about 250 right. when I was doing um, right. like low fat raw. Low fat raw. Low fat raw. I was about 270 for a long time. Right. And then when I started to do low fat raw, I was about 250. Okay. And then I started to get into a lot of catering and a little stressful. And I don't know. I started to. And you lost it. Well, yeah. well, you know what? A lot of raw people don't eat all raw. Right. That's and, right. And. Um, I think that I'm an addict. I think I'm, I'm a an addict food too. addict. I am. So I was with a lot of raw people who are not addicts. Right. So they eat a little cooked here, a little cooked there, and nothing happens the next day. Right. I eat cooked food, and the next day I'm eating ten buckets of fried chicken. I mean, it just wow. escalates. It takes over my life. Is, by the way? What? Why do you think that is? Well, I think that uh, some people are maybe more prone, like people right. are alcoholics. Right. Maybe some people are more prone to, right. to, to, you know, uh, I don't know. And it's a chemical. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. something you fight with all the time. All the time. My whole life, I've been, you know, right. compulsive eating, and the right. only time right. that I was ever able to lose weight and keep it off right. was during those three year, three and a half years of raw. Low fat. No, well, raw. regular raw, right. but the, I was raw for all that time and kept off the weight I lost. Right. And any other diet I've ever been on, right. the minute you go off the diet, right. you're done, and that I never stayed on any program for as long as I stayed well, on. Well, you know what it is? It's called opioids. Oh, oh, oh opioids, opioids, right. Opioids is not all grain products. Aha. Uh -huh. That's morphine. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh, uh, Glue. Yes, yes. So affects your thinking. Right, and probably gluten. Maybe gluten. we have a gluten intolerance or something. Sure, people who are prone to being more addicted than other people. See, if I eat cooked food, but you don't I eat. gain a pound. And if I eat cooked food, then two months later you'll see me, I gained 100 pounds. So, so it was about, I think it was about the last year and a half. I started cooked food, it escalated, I couldn't stop, I gained over 100 pounds back. I gained 120 pounds back, I think. Wow. Now, I finally came to the conclusion that I can't do this anymore, I can't keep trying to right. eat a little bit, I, I, I gotta go back to what I was doing before. Right. So now it's been three weeks and I lost about 30 pounds, 30 which pounds. is fabulous. Right. And, uh, so you track you every month coming up? Well, oh, sure, if you want to, sure. Because she's also a singer. Yes, I am an opera singer. I'm a fabulous, famous opera singer. And you're also a famous chef. Yes, I'm a famous raw chef. And uh, so, you know, life's a journey. Life is a journey. And you don't beat yourself Well, you beat yourself up when you get on a Oh, my God. Yeah, it was horrible. Wow. And I was so depressed, I can't tell you. I mean, I think the food in your system makes you depressed. And the fact that... Were you eating meat or just grain? Uh, some, I was, uh, the last binge that I had, and I was diagnosed with a binge eating disorder. Right. So it's not that I'm just an overeater. I mean, it's binges. So the last binge that I went on, I ate hamburgers. And that was wow. the first meat I had in wow. like four and a half years. Good. McDonald's? Yeah. Oh, wow. It was gross too, but I couldn't stop. See, that's the thing about food. Even though it's gross, you feel like you can't stop. That's right. Even though you think it's gross. I, the thing is, you didn't go pay a client. You don't mind paying the consequences. Well, not no, you don't, because you're so caught up in the whatever the good feelings that it gives you, and, and then, then, then you. Like childhood memories. Tastes good. It makes you feel better. I think it. I it, gave a French it numbs you. It numbs you. I gave Did a you? French fries this year. Very good. Arnold. <laughs> Arnold's as skinny as a rail. He can eat anything he wants. Yeah. And so you're so you're right now. You're working for three weeks. Three weeks raw. And I'm, uh, you know. So what are you making? Good. What are you doing to make sure that you eat raw? My, it's mostly mental. 
as soon other words, as I made that mental, mental, right? As soon as I made the mental decision that I feel that I that I believe that I'm a cooked food addict, right. that was the end. Then there's just no. I don't even go there because right. I. I, I, it, it escalates, and that my history has shown right. that it escalates. Did you write this down? Or you no, it was just, I, I mean, decided. You just, you just decided that no more cook food. No more. Not That's even it. a drop. No. Not even a tinkle. No, a tinkle, no. <laughs> Actually, the other day we went and I got a salad somewhere, and I was very explicit in my directions, but when they came, it had cooked vegetables on it. And I did eat it, and it was delicious. And then I thought, Heck, tomorrow I would like some more cooked vegetables. Is that right? And then no, I said to myself, you see, there it is again, that's it. And the no, next time we went to this yeah. place, I said, no cooked vegetables in my salad. And was it as good? No. But in other words, cook, you need a look food. It's yeah. so delicious. Yeah, it changes your whole way of being. Absolutely. Wow. For, and it's delicious. Who doesn't want to eat what's delicious? That's true. So. What was it as I get here? It's so good. It's called California Tortilla Bowl or something. Exactly. It's on Roosevelt Boulevard. It, uh, it is so good. <laughs> so now I'm just you now you now you lost thirty pounds. I lost thirty pounds, and I'm getting back into exercise again. Right. I walked a couple times over two miles twice last week, and you know I'll keep keep going. So I feel so much better. I'm not depressed anymore. And that's the scoop. But Arnold is. Oh, look who it is. Okay, should we wrap it up? She doesn't want to come in the video. So that's that. So it's like, yes, uh, eating is emotional. I know that, but yeah, some not, people, right. but look, right. there are some people who are alcoholics, and right. when they have emotions, okay, they go to alcohol, and then it overtakes their life. Right. And then there are other people who get emotional over something, and they have a drink, it doesn't overtake their life. Some and people, then you're, you're, it does. What you do is you go to cook food. Oh, completely. I mean, I do a little bit, and then I'm like, it's just goes out of control. I lose control. I go to it nuts. Well, you know, well, no. it's, a it's a journey with raw. I, I think in the beginning, you you know, you want to have the good stuff, and then you let it go as you go on. Everybody, should, we're making a uh, potluck in the other tomorrow. Yes, we have the potluck tomorrow. And it's fabulous. And we also have what else is coming up? The vibrant festival. Barbara Living Festival. It's in, in the summer. And then we actually, in this month, we have a uh, real talk about um, uh, addictions. Yes. Policy. Oh, yes. That should be very good. Yeah, she's talking about that. Maybe I'll come to that. Yeah. So that's that. I guess we all have our addictions. It's basically, just how to deal with it and don't beat yourself up. Yeah. It's a journey. Yeah. I mean, I have my addictions. <laughs> I do. Well. Once you get to know me, I find I have many. <laughs> You have an addiction to love. I have an addiction to love. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Is that it?